Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocky, and in today's video, I wanted to piggyback off of my last video and review the Louis Vuitton Toiletry Pouch 26. I want to go over my list of pros and cons to see if this item is actually worth it. So let's get started with the pros. Pro number one has to be the size. This is the largest pouch in the Toiletry collection. I'm actually lucky enough to have the Toiletry 15, 19, and the 26. Being the largest pouch, this can hold the most while not being overly heavy. Meaning that even if you fill this to the brim, it's not going to be overly heavy to carry due to its light material. Pro number two. This is actually intended to be a part of the travel collection. Most people actually go ahead and use this as a clutch. I've actually seen some people go ahead and add a strap and use this as a crossbody or a handbag. I actually purchased this item because I wanted a catch-all for my gym bag and my work bag. I also do use this as a clutch whenever I can. Pro number three, price. So this item currently retails for $520 on the US Louis Vuitton website. Now I was lucky enough to be able to purchase this last year before they had two price increases and I picked this up for $445. At the time of purchasing this, I was looking between buying the Louis Vuitton Pochette Voyage in the Monogram Eclipse. Both the Toiletry Pouch 26 and the Louis Vuitton Pochette Voyage and Eclipse are the exact same item. The only difference is the color and the inside. The Pochette Voyage has actually a textile lining while this has a wipeable lining. Besides that, there's not much differences except for the price. The Pochette Voyage retails for almost $900, which is double the price of this. Currently, if you look on the Louis Vuitton website, I believe they have the Louis Vuitton Daphine, and it's also a very similar item with some embellishments, and they're asking $1,700 for it. My thoughts, at the end of the day, you're going to use this item the exact same way you would use the Pochette Voyage and the Louis Vuitton Daphine or any other clutch bag. So why would you pay more money for the same material, the same quality? and the same function. That leads me into pro number four, investment. Now, like I said earlier, I bought this item for $445 and it's currently retailing for $520. That's a $75 increase in, within the matter of a year. This item is also fairly popular on the pre-love market. You resellers love to buy this and up the price quite a bit. I've seen this go up to $800 and $900 new. Pro number five, it's popularity. This is a very popular item. This actually became overly popular when, when Princess Diana was photographed on her boyfriend Dadi Faiz's yacht on her vacation or holiday. She was seen carrying this as a clutch and ever since then celebrities have worn it in versatile ways making it a very popular item, especially at the price point for its functionality. Now, let's get into some of the cons. Ironically enough, one of the biggest cons for this item has to be the size. I actually find myself not reaching for it too much because even though I can fit quite a bit, I can fit my sunglasses with its case, I can fit both of my cell phones, my work phone, my personal phone, uh, my gum, my hand sanitizer, my mints, anything I want in here, it definitely fits. However, it, gets, it does get overly bulky and it's hard to put under your shoulder and it's kind of hard to hold and it's uncomfortable to hold onto. Now keep in mind, it's not heavy due to the material unless I'm putting something overly heavy in it. However, the whole point of a clutch is its ease of it. If I really wanted to get complicated, I would just wear a different bag. Also, due to its large size, as you can see on the inside, it's just one big empty pocket. I ended up purchasing a bag organizer that helped me stay organized and keep things where they needed to be. Without the organizer, I find myself digging through the pouch, rustling quickly to grab my keys, or to find eye gum. Usually I have to dump everything out in order to find what I'm looking for. It's just inconvenient and not practical. The next con has to be the material. Now, this is Louis Vuitton's iconic coated canvas. Uh, it's Like I said, the Pro is very light and very durable. However, it's lined with a man-made wipeable lining, which is definitely a pro if you're using it as a travel or even a clutch if anything dumps in there. But in the long run, this has been known to peel. And once it peels, I don't think there's any way that you can fix it. So you have to be extremely cautious with not damaging it or keeping it anywhere humid so the lining doesn't peel because if it does, it's prone to get really sticky and then they usually jump. However, you can still find them on pre-love markets with the sticky lining and they're still retailing for like two to 300 bucks. So, so it's a con that the inside material peels. However, it's a pro that it still keeps its value, even if it's not really usable. The next con, also ironically, one of the pros is the price. 
Like I said earlier in the video before, this has gone up about $75 without tax. Here in Chicago, we have a 10% tax, so I paid $45 in tax, bringing this piece to be about $500. If I were to purchase this now with a $75 increase and tax, I'm looking at about $100. That's $600. It's a $100 out the door increase with a matter of a year. Now, it's still a great price point for what you're getting, but you're getting just coated canvas, which is just a plastic covered textile with no leather on it. At least with the Pochette Voyage that retails at $900, you were getting pocket organizers on the inside and it had a lot more leather detailing on the actual top of the item and on the tab. I know we're paying for craftsmanship and we're definitely paying for the brand, but I don't know if a piece of coated canvas is worth almost $600. All right guys, so overall, those are my pros and cons. At least for me, I have a lot more pros and cons. So in my opinion, this is definitely worth it. The price point, the versatility, the investment, the size, and the overall iconic history about this makes it a definite staple in my collection. So overall, in my opinion, I definitely think this item is worth it. I'll go ahead and list a more detailed description of this item below, along with the dimensions and a link to the website. Now, this is an infamous product to be out of stock on the Louis Vuitton website. However, I have been seeing that most people are being successful getting hard to get items if you call client services due to the pandemic and stores being shut down. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have this item, please let me know how you use it. Uh, if Let me know your pros and cons. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram at a boy named Rocky. Please make sure you like and subscribe below. I just started making these videos due to the quarantine. I was going stir crazy. I figured I could go ahead and talk about something that I really enjoyed and passionate about share it with people, give them my opinions from a guy's perspective. I've seen so many reviews from women, but I haven't seen a lot from men. Please let me know below what you think of the video, anything I can improve on, uh, any suggestions you have. I have a whole collection that I'm going to slowly start to review as long as my work schedule allows me to. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me.